this shoe caused so much chaos for your average Jordan head that literally it's been the most divided Jordan 1 silhouette I think I've ever seen. Everybody who is madly into Jordans, and if you watch the channel, you know I am only getting more and more knowledgeable about them. And in my opinion, I'm growing to the Jordan 1 silhouette hugely. I originally was only really a fan of the Jordan 4 silhouette, but the Jordan 1 has grown on me considerably. So that is why I wanted to review this particular shoe, but I've been a little bit late to the party. And so I don't think I need to go through all of the stuff that everybody already knows. So what I wanted to do was just give you the most epic on foot B-roll that I could possibly do, and maybe just talk a little bit about it. If you were one of the fans of this particular shattered backboard 3.0, so to speak. You would be aware that it has a very different look and a lot of people didn't like it. Now, let's rewind the clock back to the original shattered backboard and that particular colorway, being OG, will always be the most popular. Most of the time, that rule tends to be the case because it has so much nostalgia for people. And obviously, if you don't know much about the story of the shattered backboard colorway in the Jordan 1, then there are plenty of other YouTube channels that will go through it for you. But as far as I'm aware, it is related to obviously Michael Jordan playing college basketball and shattering the backboard when he was scoring some points during a game. And that's where that kind of came together into that particular colorway, which was white, or should we say sail, a black and orange colorway Jordan 1. Now they did bring out a 2.0 version in the last couple of years and when they do do them, they always have something about them that makes you know it's a shattered backboard. But with this particular one, it didn't have that kind of special element to it from that standpoint. So I think a lot of people are thinking that maybe the way that they've been finished and the way that they look is that bit of specialness but it's not for everyone. And as you can see in the video, you could tell it's got this high glossy shine to it, a patent leather or pleather as people like to um, also say for plastic leather, that it's got this crinkled effect too, which kind of looks a little bit like shattered glass. But no one is talking about whether that's actually the case and there's nothing on the shoe or on the box that really proves that it's 100% an official shattered backboard 3.0 but it seems across the board where stores had stock that they were calling it that and we are calling it that and if everyone's calling it then i don't see why it can't be it so regardless of the extra elements of the shoe not being there it really is a very interesting and controversial shoe so let's get the box let's have a look at the shoe let's have a little bit of a look over a couple of the details and talk a little bit more about what was going on in the communities about this shoe. So this is the box and it just comes in a normal black Jordan 1 box with the Nike logo in red on the box. And um, I managed to get hold of a pair of UK 10s in this particular shoe, thanks to a really good friend of mine. You know who you are, shout out to you. I really appreciate it. And I will leave that person's link down in the description below. Go and check him out on Instagram, mad sneaker collector. And I really appreciate it. Now, this is a UK 10, so a tiny little bit big for me. Although in Jordan 1s, I found that I'm a nine and a half. So I probably could just wear an extra pair of socks or I could probably just add an extra insole and they should be fine. Inside the box, there isn't anything particularly that special. Normal tissue paper. The shoe came with an extra set of orange laces, which is different for a shattered backboard. But um, I've stuck with the black ones. So the official colorway for this shoe is black starfish vanilla. And um, I can see why. So here's the shoe in question. This is apparently the Shattered Backboard 3.0. And as you can see, it's got this crazy, shiny looking upper, and you've got this crinkle pattern that goes all the way through this upper. Now, 
if you bear in mind, having this have the light that I'm using reflecting off it, it really exaggerates the look of the shoe because of that glossy look. A lot of people didn't like it in the sense that it felt like it was a bit greasy or a bit oily. I don't hate it and I don't overly love it, but then I'm very new to Jordan 1s. But what I will say is that a lot of people felt that they wished that these were more of a matte colorway. And I can kind of see that because all normal leather Jordan ones are that way. And some people have done some customizations. Some people have tried to make them more like the original one and two version of the Shattered Backboard. But um, if this is how Nike intended it to be and Jordan brand intended it to be, maybe this is how it should be. One of the things that I have noticed about this shoe that I find rather interesting is that it's not that stiff. Now, I always felt like patent leather shoes were gonna be always a bit stiff, and they aren't. It's pretty soft, like the toe box is pretty soft, and it all doesn't really kind of matter if you crease it too much because it's already creased. And um, in my opinion, uh, people are not living this sole, which is like a smoker's off-white kind of color. I kind of dig it. I, I kind of like it. I think it gives it contrast, considering you've got black and orange already, as we know. And I don't really want to put the orange laces in it because that would be maybe a bit too much. But having this sole on it gives it that contrast. Now, the only thing for me that I wish it did have was one of two things. Either that the undersole on these were orange or black. Now I think that these would have probably been quite cool with a black undersole. I think orange would have again been a bit too loud. But regardless, the shoe itself, I actually don't hate. I don't know how I'm gonna rock it, but I don't really hate it. So what I wanna hear from you guys is your opinions in the comments below, because it's really important that I gauge what you guys are thinking about different shoes. I do reviews of so many different shoes on a regular basis that I really do like to hear that feedback from you guys. I will say, I think that this particular shoe was always going to sell out, regardless of who had stock of it, it was always going to sell out. Now, resale isn't crazy. You can pick up a pair probably under £100 more than retail, if not less. Realistically, if you were on the fence with this particular shoe, you could still get your money back if you decided you didn't really like them. And not that I'm condoning resale, but that's just the world we live in. If you do like the channel, don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, or should I say smash it, and also, hit that bell next to the subscribe button and you'll get notifications when new videos drop. I'm gonna leave some links in the description down below to some really good reviews of the Shattered Backboard 3.0, but I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this little bit of a chat and maybe we should do some more of this in the future. Instead of them being straight reviews, let's just talk about what the chatter is on the grapevine about different releases and go from there. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and don't forget that we'll be doing more videos just like this really soon. Smile, though your heart is aching, smile, even though it's breaking. When there are clouds in the sky, you'll get by if you smile.